Okay, so welcome back to part two of Jimmy Fails at Mass Effect 2. My favourite game ever, and it's very weird playing it on a PC, and I'm quite enjoying it because it's added a whole new level of challenge. Uh, as you can see, I've put Shepard in some armour. I think... I don't know if there's a weapons locker yet. Oh, it's next to it. I'm a dickhead. No, no it's not. I'm not a dickhead. Good. Let's go see the elusive man. A space bar to run. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. Obviously, we are playing Paragon. You might be the reason I'm still alive, but that doesn't mean I trust you. You need to put your personal feelings aside. Humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same side. We just have different methods. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers. Just as Saren and Ageth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Their rebuilding still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. I love this music. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. If this is a threat against humanity, we need that. to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. Is this a volunteer job, or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice. <gasps> Lies! If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. Yeah, by the way, you but always first, have a choice. Go to Freedom's Progress. Green, red, find or blue. any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Oh, yes.
escape, open the menu and select a squad. Upgrade your powers with squad points, click on a new power and then click purchase. Below your portrait is a summary of Paragon. Okay, I've got two squad points, I want to upgrade charge. see those because you know what happens that should be the weapons locker but it's not the elusive man is very impressed with you I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there I know who I report to as long as you don't do anything to betray Cerberus, I'll follow your orders. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. <laughs> I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, would have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. <laughs> the elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it, or we can do it. Let's talk to Jacob. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? Yep. You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. You said you served in the Alliance. Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. <clears throat> when colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. Good man. But humans are a blight on the galaxy. You, you are a blight. And you, and you, human. That's all for now. Yes, ma'am. Annoyed. 
Right, let's make a save before we start real combat and we see how bad this control layout is. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear, and we've got no target to go after. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second-guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. Mmm. So we get to our first proper mission of Mass Effect 2. Don't know if there's a quick save button or not. Oh, I've got a submachine gun. Awesome. Uh, options. Key bindings. Quick save is F5. Okay. Now we know. Squad. She's got two points. Well, we want overload. No, we don't. We want warp. Nothing personal. <laughs> F is melee. Okay. So we've got the shuriken, the katana. Wait, is that the black storm? Grenade launcher. I was like, oh, have I got the black song? Okay, so let's go investigate this colony. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. This is back when Mass Effect was scary. I do love this game and it is quite scary. bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. Yep. Just creepy atmospherics. Engaging Strange. Security systems were disabled at the other colonies. Huh? 
Shoot them before they take out your shields. Programmed and they <laughs> attack on site. We're not alone here. That did not go well. Okay, so it's not going so well for Jimmy at the moment, but it's not the end of the world. We'll get the controls down eventually. Plus, to be fair to me, it's been a long time since I've had to play this game. Controls. Just give me a game pad, man. I downloaded the crack or whatever it was to play. <laughs> Excuse me. Play with the game pad, but it doesn't seem to have worked. That way, apparently. Uh. Going to cover. Okay, Q. E. On it. What's Zed do? On it! Be right there. Let's see. So it's Q, E, and C. We've been spotted! <clears throat> Lost shield. You're done! It's two. I keep thinking it's three. It's two. Uh, I was pushing Medijal like a little bitch, spamming Medijal. Oh dear. Okay, we're getting we're getting the controls down now, Internet. It's Tali. Stop right there, Praza. You said you'd let me handle this. Wait, Shepard. I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down, Shepard. Is that? You're alive? Cerberus rebuilt me, Tally. In return, they asked me to investigate these attacks on human colonies. You'll pardon us for not taking you at your word, Cerberus. We're well within our rights to investigate attacks on a human colony. I'd like to know what the Quarians are doing here. Weapons down, Praza. Whatever's going on here, I don't think we need another fight. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human <coughs> colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. 
We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? A novel. They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up Good one of novel. our ships. I'd That's not it. how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. And there's our everyone's favourite tally. I'm not that big a fan of her, I'll be honest with you. I am a massive fan of Thane. I freaking love Thane. He's such a badass. Take care of him. Wasn't talking to you, Jacob. So I may have to turn the difficulty down because this. Ready to engage. <laughs> Careful requesting assistance. Controls are not the best. They really aren't the best. I can't imagine doing this on Insanity. I was going to do it on Insanity and then, yeah, controls. Controls hurt. They hurt quite bad. <laughs> 